Good afternoon. Uh, the Secretary General and the President of Romania have uh, just concluded uh, their bilateral meeting. They'll have uh, short uh, statements and then we'll have time for just a few questions. Secretary General. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. It is indeed a great uh, pleasure to welcome you again uh, here at uh, NATO headquarters just a few months away from our uh, summit in Chicago. Uh, Romania is a staunch uh, ally. Uh, you have provided valuable uh, contributions to our operations in Afghanistan and, uh, and Kosovo and in protecting the people of uh, Libya. Um, your solidarity and uh, commitment are even more valuable in these uh, difficult economic times because Romania knows that our security is priceless. Um, this is an important year uh, for uh, NATO, and I discussed with uh, the President our preparations for uh, the Chicago uh, summit, where Romania can continue to play an important role. Uh, we must shape uh, an alliance capable to face today's challenges while providing uh, tomorrow's security. Uh, while we may not be able to spend more on defense, we must spend better. And we must spend together. And that is what we call smart defense. Romania is already part of several such um, projects. You will host elements of um, the NATO missile defense uh, system this is an excellent example of uh, smart defense, where many allies provide different uh, assets for a critical capability. It will protect two continents against a major and growing threat. Uh, and in Chicago, we hope to announce the interim capability uh, for our missile defense system. In Chicago, we will also make clear our enduring commitment to Afghanistan which uh, remains our top operational uh, priority. Afghanistan is moving in the right uh, direction. Transition to Afghan security lead is on schedule and is making steady uh, progress. As transition uh, proceeds, uh, we will be able to shift our role from combat to training, assistance, and advice uh, to the Afghan forces. We will also continue to count on uh, Romania for building strong relationships with our partners, especially in the Western Balkans, uh, but also to NATO's east. These are regions where Romania is fully committed. We all agree that Euro-Atlantic integration is the best way to spread security and stability. Our open door policy is clear and Romania has an important role to play in this historic project. Mr. President, once again, thank you for Romania's strong commitment, um, your strong contribution, and for your personal commitment uh, to our alliance. I know that I can count on your support as we look forward uh, to our next summit in Chicago. Thank you very much, Secretary General. I'll use Romanian language for the in the discussions that I had with Secretary General, with Mr. Rasmussen, the main goal was an exchange of views on the future NATO summit in Chicago. Of course, we did not lose the opportunity to inform the Secretary General that for Romania, security is a key condition of her positive development. And I also mentioned that until we joined NATO, Romania was a country that did not have guaranteed security, but only after Romania joined NATO, we have all the feeling that the security of Romania is well guaranteed and provided for. For sure we know that security is not a gift to be made, and that when you are in a club, 
whose objective is the security, the collective security, you need to come with your own contributions. In this context, I discussed with the the Secretary General, the issue of the missile defense shield that will have elements located in Romania in the bilateral relationship with the U.S. and I also expressed our hope that in the Chicago summit they will be mentioned as part of the interim missile defense system of NATO, going out from the status of a system installed bilaterally in the relationship between Romania and the United States. We also discussed about Afghanistan, an element, a key element of our contribution to NATO missions. I assured the Secretary General that we proposed to ourselves a roadmap that speaks about the reality of what we established in the transition period on the occasion of the Lisbon summit. Romania will continue to keep its forces throughout 2012. And the first half of 2013, and we probably will start cutting down our presence as beginning with the second half of 2013, and in keeping with the transfer program of the program to transfer the security responsibilities to Afghan security forces in the second half of 2013, the Afghan security forces will take over part of the missions that are currently conducted by the Romanian army. Let me mention that Romania will diminish her presence as the mission will be integrally, completely fulfilled. One of the main main problems which we have discussed today is connected to what will happen after 2014 and the conclusions that we draw in the discussions with the Secretary General is that we will have to continue to contribute to the training and instructing the, security, the Afghan security forces. As a matter of fact, I informed the Secretary General that Romania, according to the her commitment stands ready to send to Afghanistan 66 trainers for the gendarmerie forces of Afghanistan. So the more training, the less combat troops will have in Afghanistan. And this is our goal. As for smart defense, here I can inform you that at NATO level there are 168 programs and Romania is part of 31 programs that aim to put together resources of several NATO member states in order to fulfill their goals. And we will continue to get involved in all the projects, in all the smart defense projects, because they mean less cost and more effectiveness. As a matter of fact, I think that it is one of the most valuable initiatives that appeared in NATO since Mr. Rasmussen took uh, over at the helm of it. As for NATO-Russia cooperation, Romania maintains her viewpoints that she has already expressed previously, that we need a partnership with the Russian Federation based on confidence and respecting the previously signed commitments. I mentioned this thing and underscored this thing with the discussion with the Secretary General. Also, we consider 
Initiativa NATO we appreciate NATO's initiative. Russia we highly appreciate NATO's initiative to invite NATO to invite, NATO, to invite Russia in discussions Russia on Afghanistan. For sure, certain the Russian Federation and Central Asian states can be part participants in securing what NATO has already successfully done and what it will do on a long term and to strengthen a democratic society in Afghanistan. Last but not least, we, I underscored in my discussion with the Secretary General that Romania, Romania supports the idea that NATO should pay strong focus to the region where Romania is located. We support the open door policy for the states in the Western Balkans. We also support a solution that should strengthen the position of an ally for Georgia and also the security issues of the Black Sea, which we also talk about with our uh, Bulgarian and Turkish uh, allies, and this should be in the focus of the Chicago summit with all its implications, uh, including energy security. Very Thank you. little time, so please stick to one question and introduce yourself. Uh, Radio Romania. Uh, how do you see uh, the um, transition, uh, transition strategy? Um, do you intend or do you think uh, there are necessary any changes? And, uh, a question for, for the President. Um, uh, președinte, um, ați anunțat, uh, you announced right now that 66 uh, people will take uh, part. Gendarmes, gendarmes will participate in training uh, the Afghan. So they are not combat troops, they are mentors, uh, trainers. Are you considering increasing this presence as uh, the troops will, uh, with, will uh, first, be cut um, down? Let me stress that uh, we stick to the roadmap that was outlined at the NATO summit um, in Lisbon uh, in November 2010, according to which we will gradually hand over lead responsibility to the Afghans, um, a process uh, that has been started and hopefully will be completed by the end of 2014. There is nothing new in the fact that from mid-2013 there will be a gradual change of the role of our forces um, uh, in Afghanistan. The fact is that by mid-2013, we will uh, start the final transition of provinces and districts to lead Afghan responsibility. So from that time on, the whole of Afghanistan uh, um, will have Afghan security forces uh, in the lead uh, of security. And from that time on, we can gradually change the role of our forces from combat to support. The pace and the scope of that transformation of our forces will, of course, very much depend on the security situation on the ground. The better the security, the stronger the Afghan security forces, the more rapidly we can transform the role of our forces. Um, so. Um, we, uh, all that will take place within the roadmap we outlined uh, in Lisbon uh, in 2010. Um, I would like the, the Romanian press to understand very well that Romania has not put to public debate uh, a program to cut down the level of the troops because this is what we thought about. This is a program that aims that in the region of Zabul, where we are located, in the second half of 2013, we should start the transfer of responsibilities to the Afghan security troops. I repeat, at the last meeting that I had with our troops in Zabul, High Afghan commanders were side by side with our commanders and they were 
cooperating in training on the ground people in combat conditions. Those who will go as mentors will not go to combat areas, but this process has already started. It is a training process. Romania does not intend to withdraw from uh, the commitment it has made. I hope that the Romanian press will understand this, and I hope that those who know about the transition uh, period knew that uh, the Romanian troops will also cut down their numbers, the combat troops, I mean. But I would like you to know that right now half of, the, uh, of Afghanistan's population has the security provided by Afghan troops. So the transition process is not invented from the second half of 2013. It has already started and it is underway according to the plans of NATO after the Lisbon summit. As for us, Romania expresses her availability, her willingness right now to increase their training capabilities to send more trainers to Afghanistan because we understand very well that uh, this engagement cannot be done can only be done when national Afghan forces can take over the security responsibilities. Right now, we have over 100 trainers, 100 mentors in Afghanistan, and we will increase their numbers because this is actually the key of disengagement, of a swift disengagement of NATO from Afghanistan in full security. So we are going to increase the number of trainers, the number of mentors, and if the transition program is respected, then Romania should cut down her security, her, her combat forces from the second half of 2013. But if there are suspicions about the security of the region, then we will act accordingly. I mean, we will not withdraw our troops leaving the region that we are responsible for in an insecurity situation. Situation. But we are hopeful that the program will go on as planned.